this also too. Uh, my name is Janice Trude and I am a global national sales director for Mary Kay. I've been with this company almost 43 years. And I've been using skincare since I was 13 with Mary Kay. It's the only skincare I used. I kind of ventured off a little bit in late high school, early college. How many of you remember a product called Seabreeze? I think back in the day, if it was stinging and burning our face, we thought it was working. It was like, oh, it's working. How many of you remember that? Okay. It's like, now it's really bad for you. So I just want to say education for us and Mary Kay. So if you're a guest on here, I want you to know that we pride ourselves in education. And we are a skincare company foremost. And of course, we have Amazing Glamour too. But we, it's all about taking care of your face and your skin. And so first off, if you also too, if you're a guest on here tonight, please make sure your name is in that chat section and you put down who invited you tonight. Tonight at the end, we're going to give away a lot of giveaways. I have 11, 12 giveaways tonight to do. So you want to make sure that your name is in that chat section. And we want to make sure that we give your consultant the credit for that. Okay. So thank you directors for being on here. Get your people on consultants. Great education for you. And guess, yes, you have those little, little samples there too. So we are going to talk about skincare tonight and skincare is super important. And I'm not talking about just using a cleanser. I'm talking about skincare and skincare sets. And I just want to share with you tonight also to why do we use skincare sets? Why don't we just use a little bit of this, a little bit of that? Well, if you do know much about skincare, it is important that they're chemically formulated to work for your skin. I'm going to move lighting over here just a bit. Sorry about that. Um, it is important to use one skincare line. Why? Because if you start mixing, for instance, Mary Kay is fragrance free, dermatology and allergy tested, has a good housekeeping seal. If you start mixing brands, and then you say, you know, it didn't work. We don't know if it's us or the mixture of everything. So can I just say, you can hodgepodge your glamour, but don't hodgepodge your skincare. Use skincare that works together for you, okay? And I've been using Mary Kay skincare since I was 13 years old. I'm in my 60s now in that middle range. And so I just wanted to make sure that you know that taking care of your skin is super, super important, okay? So I do wanna say that. Now tonight, I'm gonna to share about some of the other skincare sets that we have, and then we're gonna get started. So let's just start. I have some great screen shares for you. Uh, but again, this is also education for everybody. Um, I love the education part of this. So let's talk about skincare. We have a brand new preteen teen skincare lineup. And I'm super excited about our brand new teen, preteen and teen skincare because we are noticing that girls at a younger age, 11 years old, 10, 11, 12, just want to get in that routine. Mary Kay just launched this this month. It is a brand new preteen teen skincare. There is no anti-aging in there. There is no uh, fragrance, allergy and dermatology tested. There is also uh, no sunscreen in there. It is to get them using skincare. Now there's two formulas, mattifying and hydrating, depending on the skin type. So these are girls who are just starting out getting them on a good skincare regimen. By the way, this skin, skincare set can also be for women who have incredibly sensitive, sensitive skin. Now they kind of go from this set to this set. This is our clear proof set. This is the acne set. And some kids never go through that. And some kids are right in that right in the way 12 and 13 14 15 so you know this is another set and by the way you can talk to your consultant about all these but i love our clear proof it's a great set it really will help the acne <laughs> excuse me on the skin so i love the clear proof there we have a mary Kay naturally we do know that people want a more natural line of product there is no anti-aging in natural products so it, you have to make some decisions there we also have a men's skincare line because we do know that men are taking more care of their skin and then we have our what we call our uh, miracle set here i love this set this is what you're probably going to have samples with tonight we're going to go through that it's a great set. It just came re recently just launched in the last 60 days. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Those are the, probably the ones you have samples with too. Please make sure if you are on here as a guest and you don't have samples, just write some notes down. You'll be fine. And then of course, this is my favorite set because this is the repair set. How many of you know that, um, and I'll show you the repair set. How many of you know as you get older, things start to move around? Has anybody noticed that? So this is our repair set. I always say it's the Cadillac collection. Um, I love this set because it has retinol and collagen and it has those properties and ingredients in it that are really going to help the aging process of your skin. Okay. So this is our repair. So if you're in that age or stage or you're like, 
how did this happen? Where did that come from? Okay, this is the set for you, okay? Um, because as we do get older, things do start to move and shift. I, I wish that Mary Kay would put it in a bath gel. How many of you would, if you would be really excited, if Mary Kay put it in a bath gel and we just sat in it and we got up and with everything just shrunk. I mean, somebody needs to patent that. That would be like the best thing ever, right? So we would all love that. Okay, so skincare is super important. And by the way, let me ask all of you who are on here, especially our guests tonight, at what age, at what age did you honestly look in the mirror and think, uh-oh, I better do something? What age was that for you guys? What age did you kind of do that? 45, thank you. What age were you guys when you did it? 30, 35? Mm. It's actually kind of the, the time, 40, 40, 35, 35. It's actually between like 32, 33, up to 38 is that majority of the people where you look in the mirror or maybe Facebook said, and this is what you looked like five years ago. And you're like, what happened? So we do know that gravity does close down. We do know it's sun damage. Also a lot of the things that I'm 54 right now. Okay. So it is important. So I do want to say those things and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So there we go. Our company has been um, around for almost 61 years this September. So we have a lot of patents on our products. We have 1600 patents on our products and our products have received many, many awards. So I just want to say that that is really important to have a company. Also, when you purchase your product, you purchase your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. She can exchange, take care of things for you. And that's what's all really good too. We give the best customer service out there today. Okay. So, all right, let's talk about um, some things before you go to bed. So let's say you're going to bed and the worst thing you could do is just go to bed and not take your makeup off. Okay. So if you don't know this, for every night you go to bed with your makeup on, they say you age three days. So some of you are 3,000 years old. But what happens is if you don't allow your pores to open up at night and allow your skin to rest, that's what will happen. You pack it into the pillow. So this is not skincare, but it's part of it. As you know, many of us wear eye makeup. Okay. And eye makeup usually now I have waterproof on my eyes. Okay. So if I put that on like at six o'clock this morning, it's dried on my eyes all day. Okay. So you think about this cleansers do not do a good job of cleaning your eyes. You really need a really good oil-free eye makeup remover. And this is one that's in 35 countries in our company worldwide, the number one out there. Now you'll see it's suspended for waterproof and non-waterproof. It is a glycerin base. I have incredibly sensitive eyes. And so I don't like anything burning or stinging. Okay. But you need to take that off. How many of you have ever seen those little tiny children, like two, three, four, five years old that have those super long eyelashes? How many of you know, have you seen those? Yeah. Okay. Because they don't have any eye makeup on. Through time, what happens when you wear liner and mascara, it clogs the follicles. And when you're asleep at night, your hair will grow through those little tiny follicles or holes there as long as the eyes are clean and you do that. These are my lashes. I don't have any fake lashes. It's because I've worked on cleaning those every night because I want those lashes to grow, okay? So if you're not doing that, I'm just gonna say really, really important to do is an oil-free eye makeup remover, okay? So I'm gonna share with you really quickly, I threw this waterproof mascara, I put a big blob on the back of my hand because I want you to see this. It's really important you do this every night before you go to bed. Now, for those of you who are on here and says, I don't wear eye makeup off, that's okay. Still clean your eyes at night because there's dust particles falling everywhere. That's how they get on your furniture when you go like this, and you're like, oh, how did that get there? Okay, so here it is. Here's the blob. Here's my cotton round. I'm just going to hold it there for a second. And then I'm going to wipe it off super easy like this. And look where it all is. It's on here. Okay. And I want to share that with you. There's just a teeny bit right there. Um, I want to share that with you because it comes off super, super easy. Before I go to bed at night, I do this a lot and make sure my eyes are clean. And that's not part of our skincare set, but it's part of just taking care of your skin before you go to bed. So please, you guys take care of your eyes at night. If you have not used our oil for eye makeup remover, do so. We are in 35 countries worldwide. We're about ready to open up two new countries. And this is the number one out there. You can see it has many, many awards. But clean your eyes first, okay? So that, that was that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Yes, I love the eye makeup remover too. It is the best, okay. Um, and I love the fact that it takes off waterproof. It also takes off lip stains. If any of you guys are working with lip stains, we've had the lip stains before. Um, Halloween makeup all those kinds of things, okay? So super important to do that, all right? All right, so if you've got samples, I want you to tear up all your samples. You've got cleanser, you've got day, night, you've got moisturizer, you have samples there. Hopefully you have a bowl of water, you have a washcloth, 
Um, you have a headband maybe. Okay, so um, if I was in front of you, I'd say, let's get your face wet. Um, and consultants always like provide little bowls um, at your skincare parties or a spray bottle so that they can spray and get your face wet. You want to have that face wet when we use our cleanser, okay? So in our cleanser, you're gonna find our four in one cleanser. What I love about our cleanser bottles, and by the way, we do recycle all of our bottles and jars 100%, okay? We have zero landfill status in Mary Kay. But what you're gonna feel on here is little tiny granules. Now this is the clear one that is for more combination of oily skin. You're gonna feel those little beads in there. Those are exfoliating beads because we want to exfoliate. So you've taken off your eye, um, lab, you've taken off your eye, uh, eye products, okay? And now you're gonna get your hands wet, scoop up the cleanser or take the cleanser out of the little packet that you have there and take that and put it all over your face and wash your face. So if you've got the cleanser sample there, Go ahead and do that, you guys. If you can do that, that'd be great. Um, we want you to go ahead and wash your face. Thank you, Deirdre, for being my uh, guinea pig there tonight. I love that. Yes. Um, so if you guys are washing your face, if not, of course, take notes. For those of your guests, I do do skincare usually twice a month, depending on what's going on. Um, so you definitely want to do that. Um, go ahead and wash your face. And I would use a nice washcloth like Deirdre's doing. Thank you, Lori. Now, Lori is using the cream one, you can see. It is a cream formula that's for normal to dry skin. And you know, our skin just changes through um, age. It also changes during weather, where you live. Uh, there's a lot of things that can affect the change of your skin. So thank you, Lori. Oh, Lori's using the repair line. Okay, perfect. You know what I love about that repair cleanser? It is the biggest bottle in the world, I swear. And this lasts me like eight or nine months. I use the teeniest, tiniest dot and this lathers everywhere. So um, I do love the repair for that too. And it go, again, it's cleanser. So you guys get your cleanser, do that, put it all over your face, wash your face, take a nice washcloth, always use a nice washcloth. Do not use paper towel. It has wood fibers in it, not so good, okay? So there we go, clean your face. Everybody clean their face, always cleaning her face. All right, now we're gonna do a couple treatments. You know what I love about treatments is they're the extras, you know? Now, sometimes I wanna say it's important that you know that extras are not to take away from skincare. You have your skincare set, so we've cleansed our skin, and now let's talk about two different extras that you can use, okay? One is, um, and I'm looking for my mask brush, here we go. Okay, so charcoal came into the beauty world five, six years ago. You can see charcoal, toothpaste charcoal, activated charcoal it's activated charcoal in here it goes down deep into your skin to clean it out okay now as you're putting it on if you have a charcoal mask sample i want you to really look at this photo i'm going to show you here the reason i want to show you this picture is i want you to see how to put this on okay super important never put it near the soft tissue of your eye this is the driest part you have in your skin we also have no natural moisturization there um, so because there's no pores there, you don't have any moisturization there. So put the charcoal mask, most of your pores around your nose, around your mouth there, put a nice thick film on that. You're going to smell the peppermint extract. Now this has nothing to do whether you have acne skin, dry skin, normal skin. It's for every type of skin. And what it does is it pulls out all the dirt. Okay. Um, this is probably my very favorite screen share. And by the way, once you guys get this on, you don't need to put it on real thick tonight because we need to kind of it dry because of, we will be here all night. Um, and so maybe you have other things to do, maybe not, but you want to just put a little bit on. I would just put a little bit on your nose, your forehead and your cheeks, but let me just share a picture here with you. And I love this picture here because it actually shows you what happens. Okay. All right. So it goes on wet. You're going to smell the peppermint in it. Um, it also has a navy bean propriety in it. And you're going to hear, see it dry. It dries like this ashy gray color. And you see the dark spots on our nose. Hopefully you can see that's mostly dry. You can see that is where the charcoal has gone into the pores and pulls out all the dirt. One of the great things I love about charcoal mask is it wipes off super easy. So you leave it on there about 10 or 12 minutes. Okay. Um, and maybe some of you are doing this with me. All right. So the charcoal mask also, what I love is it has a silicone brush, okay? So thank you for helping there. We need to get you a silicone brush, right? There we go. Yes, there you go. So she's using a paintbrush. I love it. So the silicone brush, I love. There's a little rubbery brush we have in Mary Kay. And by putting it on here and consultants, this is really important when you do your Mary Kay beauty events. Thank you, Lori, for showing that too. Yeah, when you guys are doing your beauty events, 
You don't, some people have long fingernails and it gets in there. So try and use brushes. I love that, how you're painting that on there. So awesome. And then just go ahead and leave it, let it dry. But the charcoal mask brush is really great. Now, this is also a unisex product. So it's good for men, teens, everybody. Yeah. Put a little bit on your forehead, you guys, and then put your brush down and just let it dry. Okay. Just a teeny bit there. But um, you would do this twice a week. And if you've not tried the charcoal mask, do so. It's really good for your skin. It really cleans it out. It's more like detoxing. Yeah, iPhone says my son loves it. Good. Yeah, um, it is great. I love Deirdre. You look like you have a mustache on. <laughs> love it. You guys are great. Um, this looks so cool. So charcoal mask is great. Now, this is a treatment. This is not to take place of skincare. This is added. And doing it twice a week just cleans out your skin. You guys, this really keeps your skin really super clean. So I just want to say the charcoal mask is great. It, you, I will tell you, um, charcoal mask needs to be demonstrated at every skincare class after the cleanser. Then you use the charcoal mask. And while it's drying, you get to do this. So, And if you don't have a charcoal mask sample, um, I will tell you it's the best sample to have in Mary Kay. Where that little bag is somewhere here. Oh, here it is. I have tons of charcoal mask samples. I take them wherever I go. I get these little tiny cute bags on Amazon. And I have these everywhere I go. But charcoal mask is the ch least expensive sample that we have and the greatest sample to give out, okay? So if you want to do that, you can. Um, I also just have them in little cello bags too. Anyway, you can get the charcoal mask to people. It's really great. Always have samples on hand. Okay, while we're waiting for the charcoal mask to dry, I want to talk about the second treatment. And there's physical exfoliators and there are chemical exfoliators. So I'm going to talk about the physical one, although I can share about the chemical one too. When I say chemical, I think it just freaks people out with that word. What do you mean chemical on my face? Like it's not acid. Don't worry. Well, it sort of look at that. Look at that picture in there. Thank you for the, the picture of the man that's in there. Michelle Lopez. That's awesome. Okay. So this is an important product. I truly believe that my skin is as soft and nice as it is because of this product here. Now, if you have not heard of the term called microdermabrasion, I want to share this with you. If you call any of your aesthetic salons in town, people who do laser or Botox or any of those types of things, you can ask them, what will a microdermabrasion treatment cost? Has anybody ever done that? If you have, let me know what you know about the cost. Okay, so the microdermabrasion cost treatments are around 200 or more dollars per treatment. Now, why do I like the physical exfoliator? So this is a phys physical exfoliator. This brightens your skin. It helps with hyperpigmentation and fine lines. As we women get older, you get little tiny lines around your lip area. Okay, right here. Okay, you all, yes, we all know this. Now, because this, I keep in the shower because I see it. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand for purposes of tonight. But I really go like this a lot around my mouth like a lot like 20 times i do this twice a week and i rub 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 rub, rub and i rub here and i rub here i'm going to show you a picture here and then i'm going to show you what it looks like here and i'm going to demonstrate it for you um, on the back of my hand um, and you guys can also get a sample of this so what microdermabrasion does it takes off that fine layer of dead skin so if you haven't ever seen this picture i love this photo because it shows how dull her skin is on the left hand side and how bright her skin is on the other side. So microdermabrasion, do not get close to your eyes. You would do it, yeah, I love this product too, um, around your mouth, your cheeks, your forehead, and I do it at least twice a week. And by the way, I had that in my shower because I want to remember to use it. It, it feels like liquid sandpaper, okay? So I love it for that reason. And I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so if you're at a party, you guys are at a beauty event at all, just take a little microdermabrasion, have them take it on the back of their hand and rub. Okay, I'm going to rub, 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 rub. I, I like put way too much in the back of my hand. But anyways, it, it feels like liquid sandpaper. And by the way, don't do this before you're going out on a date night, little black dress event, some kind of event, because it, it irritates your skin. But it's taking that dead skin layer off and it makes your skin super bright. Okay, so then you're going to take a nice washcloth and always use a nice washcloth, you guys, when you're doing these types of things um, and take it off of your hand. Okay, so now I'm going to take the second part. It's called a pore minimizer and it's going to calm the skin down and close the pores. So this is step two. And I want you to see, and sometimes virtual doesn't do a very good job, the difference in the color of my skin. Can you see that this one, can you all see this, this one's lighter, brighter? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. This one is lighter and brighter. 
and this one is darker and duller. If you can see the difference in this, my skin, you can probably see that right there. And this will give you that brightness in your skin. It's great for hyperpigmentation, um, age spots, um, fine lines, all those things. And this is what we call a physical exfoliation, okay? There's a chemical one I'll talk about real quickly. And the reason I like this one is because you just put this on and you just walk around with it. I mean, you don't have to rub, it just does it. It's a chemical exfoliator, it's really good. But there's something about scrubbing for me. I like to scrub my lines away, okay? But the chemical exfoliator you can too, you have to decide, decide which one you want. They're really both good. Um, I do like the physical exfoliator um, just because of that. By the way, I also use it on my arms. I have age spots or brown spots on my arms and it really helps break those things down. So you will, um, this by using the microdermabrasion, it is really good. So people often ask me, well, Janice, what is the difference? So charcoal mask is deep cleaning. This has nothing to do with deep cleaning, okay? So this is the difference. This takes the fine layer of dead skin cells off on your skin and makes it lighter and brighter. This is deep cleaning. I always got to slow down. I keep forgetting Yemi's translating me. She probably thinks like, oh my God, she talks so fast. Um, so this is different. And while the charcoal's mask is drawing at any beauty event, it's great to be able to try this on the back of the hand, okay? And remember the silicone brush is also really good. I always love the feeling of the my hand after I've microdermed because it really makes a huge difference on that. So um, if you guys have not used anything like that, yeah, do you still put night cream on afterwards? Yeah, so you can do that. Um, you bet. So when, when I do microderm, I usually do it in the morning when I'm in the shower. So twice a week, I jump in the shower and it stares at me. You know how the things are sitting on your shelf? You're like, oh yeah, I use that. Um, or how many of you know that things are back in the door and you pull out the door and you think, oh, that's where that is. Okay, so this is a good thing about the microdermabrasion is it's staring at me. So what I do is I don't get my face really wet because I like that sandpaper feeling. I mean, it is a little bit wet, but I really go like one, two, three, four, five, and I go 10 this way and I go 10 this way. I know that sounds a little, whatever, OCD. Uh, and then I do cheeks and then I do forehead. Okay. And then I rinse it off in the shower. And then when I get out, I do the pore minimizer. Then I do the serum C and E if you really want to know my routine here. I do the serum C and E and then I start from there. Okay. So moisturizer, all the rest. Um, so I do it in the morning, but you can do it in the evening too. You know, there's a lot of more treatments you can do that gives you more moisturization at night, but you know, whatever. I like the charcoal mask because twice a week also too. So you could do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and take the weekend off if you want. It's just, you guys cleaning out your skin, doing microderm is really good. You know, it's, it's sort of like, how many of you ever gone on a water binge? I know, we, I think we all have done that. You know, you get the water bottle and for six days in a row, you're drinking five bottles of water and then you lose your bottle and you can't figure out. And then, yeah, anyway, I've said that. I've done that way too many times. My kids are always on me. Mom, where's your water bottle? I'm like, I don't know. You know, you can only do so much, right? So, um, but I, there's certain things that I do and micro is one of them and charcoal mask is another. So these are three mints. All right, so let's go back. Um, if you have that, a charcoal mask drying in it. You guys, it's going to be dry enough. Thank you, Lori. Ooh, Lori, yours is all chalky. Um, so if it's dry, just, just take it off anyways. Just get your washcloth wet in a perfect world, a nice steaming washcloth over your charcoal mask. And by the way, at your beauty events, you guys, I take really hot steaming washcloths and I put them and I roll them in a... Um, I roll them up and put them in the microwave and get them really steamy hot. And then I wrap them in foil, put them in those insulated lunch bags. And they're good for two or three hours. So when I get to my beauty events and we're doing one this weekend, we'll probably run through 30 washcloths, no lie. But it feels good to have a nice steaming washcloth and put that over there. Hi, Luann, you did a great job, girl. Look at you. I'm so proud of you, girl. All right, you were the one with the paintbrush. We need to get you a silicone brush. We're going to get you a silicone brush. Whoever your consultant is, give her a silicone brush. I'll send it to her. So yeah, just hold it over your face, you guys, and wipe that, that off. You'll love the way it wipes off. It really wipes up really well. How many times a week do you do microdiversion? Micro I do it twice. Um, do you do refine on the same night? As No, you do not do mask and uh, microderm on the same night. Opposite nights. Don't ever do them on the same. See how easy it comes off? That's what I always love about this. Don't use those masks. Those, what they call those black masks where it's hardens and then you have to rip and tear your face to another country. Don't use those things, you guys. It's not good for you, okay? So use something that's gentle, that works, that goes into your skin and have that, okay? Um, 
Yes, she is wiping up. Thank you, Lenore. <laughs> She's in my unit. Uh, she's Lori's girl. <laughs> you got to train well, Lori. Okay, good job, Luann. All right, so th those are treatments. So let's go back to the beginning. You guys took your eye makeup off. Okay, super important. And you've cleansed your face. All right, so you've cleansed your face in the morning and you cleanse your face in the evening. Morning, evening, morning, evening, morning, evening. That's good. A little bit on the side there, Luann, on the side. Uh, down by your cheek. Yeah, there we go. You got it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this. All right. You ready for this? So that is charcoal mask. Those are treatments. Okay. Let's go back to skincare because I think it's important. We just stay on that track. Okay. So on your skincare, you've taken your eye makeup off and you've cleansed your face. Now you have what we call bare skin. So let's do the night part first. Okay. I always like to do the next part because it's super important. So we have two eye creams. Um, they're both really great. One is different than the other. Okay. First off, eye cream is the most important thing. Why does it not come with our new skincare set? Because Mary Kay wanted to give you a choice between the current eye cream that we have or the more advanced eye cream that we have. The difference between that one and I'm pulling this out, this one here. Okay. This has vitamins B3 in it. This one here is for more advanced aging lines. The great thing about this one is you're gonna see a little tiny hole here. Can y'all see the little tiny hole? This is Zamic Metal. And this metal pushes, you take a little bit of the eye cream here, you roll the ball over and you massage it in there. There's no oil transfer and that's what the Zamic Metal does. You'll find very few cosmetic companies that use the Zamic Metal. It's the same metal you find in boxing rings when someone gets hit in the eye, it pushes it in, the cool metal pushes it into the lines. This is a great eye cream too. They're both really good, has vitamins B3 in it. All of these are really great. If you have an eye cream sample that's there or you're at a beauty event tonight, because I know there's beauty parties going on here tonight, take the eye cream with your ring finger. This is the strongest finger you have in your hand. This is the weakest. So anytime you're working with eye cream, put a little bit on here like this and pat it underneath your eye area. Oh, Luann's got that one too. <laughs> They've all got the Zamic one. It's really a great one. It's for deeper lines and wrinkles. Oh, joy. That's what I use. Yeah. Uh-huh. Everybody did. <laughs> so that's a great one. Um, and so consultants, you can sell that one with the current skincare line or the repair. Um, you, you just have to analyze the situation and what the needs are. And you guys, just because one's a little bit more expensive, don't go cheap when it comes to eyes. This is the first place we ate. You know, I was around with Mary Kay for, was it 14 years before she passed away? And Mary Kay was so funny. She used to say, this is the first place where we age. And as we get older, it all dumps from there. So yes, okay. So cleanser, eye cream in the morning, cleanser, eye cream in the evening. Okay, those are super important. Morning, evening, morning, evening. I always say, if you're on a desert island, um, if you're on a desert island, you don't need to take anything with you but your eye cream. Leave everything at home, including your underwear, because it's a desert island. Just take your eye cream. This is all you need is your eye cream. So when people skip this step, I hope I can make you guys feel super guilty. Do not skip the step. So you have cleanser eye cream in the morning and cleanser eye cream in the evening. Are y'all with me? Okay. All right. Well, let's go on to some really important instructions that I need to share with you. So now it's evening. I make up off. All right, cleanser and your eye cream is on. Now you have raw, what we call raw skin here. This is all raw skin. Um, you know what, Pam, I could, one has, one has a different, um, oh, let me see if I can find it here. Um, I have it for you, hang tight. Pam wants to know the ingredients, so I got it. Hang tight, I'm on it. I should have had it up for you. I knew if I didn't have it up tonight, someone would ask. One has vitamin B in it. Hold on, I'll get it for you. My creams. And hang. All right. There we go. Okay. Hang tight. Come and bam. I want to make sure we cover all the guests, everything um, on here tonight. And eye creams. Okay. So the two different ones, the Zamic metal, but also the ingredients here. Okay. Here we go. So this one here. All right. This is the um, age fighting patent pending. I'm going to shrink this down here. Um, all right, it has encapsulated resveratrol, which is a triple antioxidant benefit, plus helps promote even looking skin, 
supports the skin, natural collagen, has vitamins B3, which is that brightening superpower, and has skin's natural collagen and elastin. So it, an age-defying peptide in it, okay? Um, this one here has a liquid crystal delivery system, which helps the effectiveness. This one fights the appearance of deeper lines or wrinkles and sagging skin, because we know that loses its density, okay? It also helps promote the uh, production of collagen in it, okay? And elastin, so it's more of a tightening agent, all right? And you can get all the rest from your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant, but that's pretty much the difference between the two of them. All right, so we took off our eye makeup off. Now you've got three samples left, okay? So we're gonna go through these right now. All right, so you've taken your eye makeup off at night, you've cleansed and you have your eye cream. We have raw skin here. You need to put something on there. So we have a brand new product. It's called the Nighttime Recovery. Now I want to share with you, this is a product that we took away. We brought it back, but it's more improved. Many of your cosmetic companies today have vitamins in their night products. Okay. That's not uncommon for vitamins you put in there. Many cosmetics grind their vitamins. Anytime you have a vitamin that's ground, its potency is a little bit less than if it's encapsulated. And I don't know if it's, you can see this or not, but there's purple there's purple, pink, white beads that are in here. You see all the beads in here? These are vitamins that are called encapsulated. So they're in their whole capsule form so that when you pump this out, then you have the vitamins open on your skin, okay? So now they're from the capsulated into their whole form on your skin, okay? So for those of you who are doing nighttime right now, I don't. some of you guys might be a party, we're gonna do glamour, but for the rest of you, so raw skin, uh, cleanser, eye cream, and now nighttime recovery because you want those vitamins on your skin right after you cleanse. I let my skin dry about for maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds. And then I put this all over. I use about four pumps. Um, and if you're not using this, then you're using our night repair. This has retinol in it. Okay. So this is one skincare set. This is the other. The technology of this also, if you guys have this, I love the technology. There's a little tiny hole here. I don't know if you can see it. And when you push this down, you pump this down, it just dispenses the exact amount you need. I actually use this one because it has retinol in it and I need to have, I need to look like I'm 12. So that's why I use that one. So anyway, um, it's not gonna make you look 12, but it's gonna help your skin because it does have retinol in it. All right. So this would be going on your skin. This is the next step, putting on your skin. I let it dry down for maybe 30 seconds. And then I put the antioxidant moisturizer over it. Okay, so that's what you would do if you're using a normal skincare routine. Cleanser in the morning, cleanser in the evening. Cleanser, eye cream, cleanser, eye cream, cleanser, eye cream. Thank you. Um, and then you would have your nighttime properties with your vitamins because vitamins are really good. They're encapsulated. I do four pumps. I put it all over my face, let it dry down 30 seconds, and then you do your antioxidant moisturizer and you go to bed. For those of you who want more than that, you're going to use a couple of products here. I'm going to jump this over here. Um, they say you can tell a woman's age by her right here, her neck area. Okay, so I use um, I use the lifting serum, which has collagen underneath here at night, and I use the retinol on my face. If you want to talk to Mary Kay Beauty Consultant about this, that's a it's a Cadillac set. It's really good. The eye cream, the cleanser, you know, same eye cream cleanser. This has one uh, step here that the other one doesn't, and that's for underneath here or for fine lines also too. But it is a lifting serum and it has a little window on it so you can see when it's down. But this here um, has collagen and this has retinol in it, okay? Now, we use pure retinol inside the form here. Um, consultants, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go back in there. Was it two weeks ago? Um, our head chemist, we did a huge thing on retinol. Guess if you are on here tonight and want to know a little bit more about pure retinol, which is amazing for your skin for anti-aging. It is really great. I will not personally sell you our retinol product unless you watch the video and hear how to use it because you need to. I mean, but it is a great product. I would go on to my YouTube channel, which is my name, super easy to find. Um, someone can type it, but go on and find out about pure retinol because pure retinol is different than retinol creams also too. So I'm not going to go into that tangent. Okay. So now you've done the morning. So if you have the samples there and you've done that, you've used your, you've used your cleanser, your eye cream, your nighttime recovery, your moisturizer, go to bed. You good? In the morning, cleanser, eye cream. You guys, this is like brushing your teeth. Okay. Same thing. Cleanser, eye cream, cleanser, eye cream. Okay. After your cleanser, eye cream, again, you have raw skin. 
So you're going to then take your moisturization because you need moisturizer in your skin. So you're going to use this moisturizer here. And this is our antioxidant moisturizer. So you're going to use this moisturizer here, okay, all over your face, and then let it dry down 30 seconds, okay? Then you're going to put the daytime defender over it because this has SPF in it. Our moisturizer, our antioxidant moisturizer has no SPF in it because we want you to have great moisturization. Also too, we do recognize that some people cannot tolerate sunscreen, but this daytime defender is super important. And let me just share with you a couple things about sunscreen. Sun damage is the number one aging situation for your face. I mean, it's the sun. Okay, why do you have more age spots, brown spots, and more aging on this side? Who knows the answer to that? Now, that's my email, Kelly. My website um, is different. My YouTube is different. It's my name. Okay, the reason we have more right here because of driving. Exactly. So you don't go around to people's faces tomorrow and say, can I see that side of your face? You'll see if you call any of your dermatologists, they'll tell you there's more skin cancer on women's and men's faces on this side of the body, more age spots, more brown spots and everything because it forms here. And that is so important. So you need to use, um, no, it's just Janice True. Just don't go to that other thing. <laughs> Alice, <laughs> just go to Jan. Somebody take a picture and put it up there. But it's just my name. That's my YouTube channel. Um, okay, this here is SPF. So I wait 30 seconds. So for me in the morning, it's cleanser, eye cream, day cream, those kind of moisturizer, um, sunscreen, and then I go from there. Okay. No, you guys are killing me on this. <laughs> that's my website. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just find my name, okay? Just find my name on YouTube um, and you'll be able to see it. I would pull it up here, but I don't think it's up here. So if someone could take a picture and show that, it's great. Okay, so, all right, so let's review. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Alice. So this is your skincare set. Cleanser, eye cream, day, night, antioxidant moisturizer, okay? All right, so this is the skincare set or you could use the repair set which is cleanser, all these right here, okay? All right, now I have a question for all of you before we go on to this last part. And I love this next part because I think it's super fun. And I hope you guys had samples. Now, if you didn't have samples, make sure you get samples from your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. You can actually watch this again with the samples and you can go through it. This will be up on my YouTube channel. Also, you can always go back and look at all the different things that I've done. But I think for education purposes, for you consultants and for guests, you know, things that are really helpful, are the things that um, we talked about was retinol. Okay, so that's really one that you can do. Um, and I do, let me just share this really quickly while we're on here. Um, in two weeks, we're gonna do brows and brushes. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that one also too. We're gonna do that on Wednesday night also. So it's gonna be really fun. Um, uh, yeah, that's my, oh, it does say that. Yeah, that's my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate you. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. How many of you are Starbucks fans? Who's our Starbucks fans? And please do me a favor. What is your Starbucks drink cost you? Okay, so everybody put down Alice Walker, $6.85. What does your favorite Starbucks drink cost? If you don't do Starbucks, don't worry about it. Um, okay, $6.25. I'm a Starbucks fan. $4.50, oh, $5.790, $6.89. Okay, anybody else? Um, anybody else at 595? Okay, I'm gonna do a calculator here and make you guys feel just horrible here in just a second. Six times 30. Okay, all right. So let's say you're a Starbucks fan. And by the way, we all drink coffee in the morning for the most part. And it's honestly not really good for us. I do it every day, at least two cups. I get it. I don't go to Starbucks, but I get the whole thing. See, what I, what I want you to understand is we put stuff in our body every day that's not good for us, but we don't take care of our face. So you get one face, Angelie, Jolie, she can buy lots of them, but you get one face, okay? If you went to Starbucks every day for 30 days, that's $180, okay? That's more than this skincare set with eye cream that will last you four months or more, depending on how much you use. So I want you to know that if you're not using skincare and you drive through Starbucks tomorrow, I hope you feel really guilty that you're not taking care of your skin. So just when you do that, I just want you to understand that 
taking care of your skin, Dunkin' Donuts, $5 is super, it's a $180 habit. And for some of you, I had some people say, I go through Starbucks twice a day. I'm like, okay, that is two skincare steps for you. Um, but you guys take care of your face, invest in your face, invest in your face. You'll be so glad people always ask me, what are you using on your skin? How does your skin look like that? You do not look like you're mm, that old. And I'm like, yeah, I am that old. Um, because I've been using skincare and skincare is super important. Okay. All right, now that made you feel super guilty. All right, let's go on really quickly to this other part and then we're gonna close out. We're gonna give some gifts. I know I'm a little behind. So <gasps> Yemi, are you ready to roll with me? Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna just do this really super quick. You guys need, if we're on here tonight, if you're at a Mary Kay Beauty event, you guys can continue on with me. If you're not, just watch this for the rest of you. It's good education. And also uh, guests on here, I want to encourage you to text your consultant and say, I wanna host a beauty event. I want to host a beauty event with you so I can try more of these products and see what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna take you to a next set. It's called One and Done. It's my favorite part of this also too because I put my makeup on at six o'clock this morning. I've only put a little powder on tonight. How many of you like to put on your makeup in the morning and be done with it? How many of you are one and done girls? I want to put my makeup on. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to touch it up 62 times during the day. I don't want to do that, okay? So let's just talk about that. Just make sure that you connect with your consultant on these things. All right. So let's talk about one and done girl. That's me. All right. So the next part you do, um, there's three parts to this. And I want to share this with you. The next thing you do is a foundation primer. You can see this one's like almost out. The foundation primer is amazing. I honestly don't believe my foundation would stay on all day if it wasn't for a foundation primer. Our foundation primer is got an SPF of 15. Um, boy, this one is literally almost gone. You do not need a lot. That's actually a little bit more than you need. And you put it on like this and then you put it all over your face. It's a very thin, thin, clear gel. It has an SPF of 15 and you're in it. What primer does is like when you guys paint something, primer does, it holds on to paint. So it grabs on. Okay. So that's the first thing I do is primer. I'm gonna tell you three things. Okay. Primer is the first thing. Okay. The second thing is your decision. I'll tell you my favorite is foundations or CC creams. What is the difference? Now you all have CC creams in your starter bag. I get that, but you also have, should have about five different colors that are the popular colors of foundation with you all the time. CC cream is like a tinted moisturizer. It's very thin and light. A lot of people like it. I have a lot of red in my skin. I need coverage, okay? The, my, our foundation was created on Project Runway by a famous makeup artist that, was, that works for Mary Kay. His name is Luis Costco, and it's a very sheer, sheer thin light. I think when, when you say the word foundation to people, it's like, no, I don't want to carve my name in my face. You will love foundation once you try it. We have like 25 different shades, um, and it goes from the lightest to the darkest. It doesn't matter to me, but you need to have good coverage, okay? So let me show you the difference in just a couple models pictures here tonight. And then you can decide. I would definitely get together with your Mary Kay Beauty consultant on that. Um, what are the five foundations? And one is beige C110, um, beige 120, 150. Um, there's, I would do the darkest ivory one, and then there's one bronze. Okay, we can do that later. But, okay, so you can see these ladies' faces. These are with CC cream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these up here. Can you see the older woman? I always call her the older woman. She's probably my age. The older lady who doesn't, yeah, it looks just like me. Um, she has a lot of brown spots on the side of her cheek there. You see them all? The CC cream is best basically covered them. I do not believe the coverage is as good as she could have had if she had used that foundation. That's just me, Okay. Um, the next model in here, I, I like her with the dark headband because I really believe it shows the coverage better on CC cream. You can see she has a little pink in her cheeks and a little bit dark circles underneath her eye. The CC cream makes her look super even, very natural. Natural. Our dark skin model here, um, yes, primer does make the difference. Our dark skin model here, you can't even tell she has anything on. I do want to address the Asian woman over here because what you see there is acne. Now, the first thing that you all need to do is let's clear up the acne, just not cover it. Covering it is great. It's a Band-Aid, but I think the most important thing is to find something that works for her skin to make sure that she is completely, you know, her skin looks great. So CC cream does cover it, but I'm just going to tell you, it's really important for her to get that skin taken care of. Okay, so those are our CC cream models. 
and these are our foundation models. And I'll show you the difference between them. And I would get together with your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. This is why you guys all as guests here tonight, you should just text her consultant right now. I need to do a beauty cut with you because she would love you for that because it's the month of June and she has big goals. I'm just going to share that with you. All right. See this blonde girl down here below. She has a lot of red in her skin. That's exactly what my skin looks like underneath. I have a lot of red readiness in there, uh, readiness in my skin. And I like a really even look. Tiffany Parker here. You can see she's got a lot of brown spots a lot of diff different colors going on in her skin it makes her look super even and then again over here our model a lot of pink in the skin so it really just depends on you now i will tell you somebody's putting foundations in there i like to use luminous versus matte i know a lot of us like matte but i want moisturization in there to counteract the powder i'm putting over y'all can do what you want but i think it would try it get together with your mary Kay beauty consultant split your face do half cc cream half foundation. You guys, once you find a shade that works, you don't ever want to change. You, do you know what I'm saying? Because it looks so good on you. And people say, oh my gosh, it looks so natural on you. Okay. So um, yeah. And then finishing spray. That's also another one too. Greta, thank you for that. We do a finishing spray. So you guys have to decide. So there's three pots, the primer, the foundation, or CC cream. And I will tell you the thing that makes a difference is our translucent powder. It's a white clear powder. You take a Mary Kay brush, you go like this, and you powder down and you're good all day. I did that this morning at six o'clock in the morning. I put did primer, foundation, powder, done. Consultants at your beauty events have brushes for people, have powder to do it so they get a finished look. That's super important is to get a really nice finished look, okay? So um, before I go on and close out for this evening, I do wanna share some events going on. For those of you who are on here tonight, especially our amazing guests, I do want to invite you to something. Um, so if you were ever looking for an opportunity, and I just want to share this with you because we have amazing opportunities in Mary Kay. And I came into Mary Kay with a full-time job and working full-time. Tomorrow night, we have Karen Rydell. She is a good friend of mine. She's amazing. She's got a great story. She is our guest speaker tomorrow night. We're not giving away five free e-starts tomorrow night. We're giving away six free e-starts tomorrow night, six free opportunities to join Mary Kay. And you're like, I'm busy. By the way, every woman's busy. Did you not know that? We come out of the womb. We're busy, okay? But if you could have an extra $1,000 in income right now to your family, what would you do right now with an extra thousand? Who would like to put that in the chat section? If you're a guest, if you had an extra $1,000, what would you do with that? Because I believe that we could all use an extra $1,000 for our kids, uh, for summer, for vacations, for all that stuff. So what would you do if you had an extra $1,000? Feel free to put that in the chat section. Okay, next Wednesday, we have our makeup artist on here with us, um, and we're going to do brows and brushes. We're going to talk about how to do brows and make brush brows look really good, but how many of you have gotten brushes and you're like, what's this brush for and what's that brush for? She's going to go through every single brush, the brushes that we have in our case, and also the individual brushes also too, and tell you what to use them for. So next Wednesday is our Brows and Brushes event. We are also giving away $500 worth of Kate Spade, Kendra Scott, and product, okay? So I do spend it on the grandkids. There you go. There's the thousand right there. So this is going to be next Wednesday. So guess if you're on here tonight, ask to jump back on. We have Spanish interpretation. And then we have my very favorite, Cindy Gress, on here next Thursday. So we have a lot of great events always on Wednesday and Thursday. So please jump on with us tomorrow. Your consultant is always in a contest, especially in June. And she's in a contest to see how many guests she can get on tomorrow night. So help her out with her contest and do that. All right, let's review. We did two skincare sets tonight. So do you remember? Take your eye makeup off. Got it. Use your cleanser. Got it. Use your eye cream. Okay. All right. So we got that down. Then we're going to do day night. Antioxidant moisturizer. We're going to grab our foundation primer and we're going to do primer foundation cc cream and and with our powder um and then we did two treatments one is charcoal mask and one is microdermabrasion now i'm going to show you a screen here what i want you to do to help our consultants out tonight take my kids on a trip you know i think that's what's really great you know for me i put um, money in their college funds i put fourteen hundred dollars away a month in both of my kids college funds and when they went off to college they didn't have to pay for anything. It was already in the fund. So I will tell you, when people say, I don't need the extra $1,000 a month, mm, you can give it to somebody. There's plenty of people who need it out there, okay? You guys, it doesn't cost anything to hear. Just jump on here with us, you know? 
Um, I've earned over 20 pink Cadillacs and almost $6 million in Mary Kay. So never say never. And I did go to college. I have a university degree. This is not what I went to college for. Okay, let's be clear on that. All right, so um, I'm going to share with you. Will you do me a favor tonight? Guess mostly. Um, and then we're going to give away a bunch of stuff tonight. Guess mostly tonight. I'm going to put this in here. Will you do me a favor? Right, put in the chat section. Put in the chat section. What If you were to get any of these tonight, what numbers would you just put down all the numbers of the products that you would take if you could get them all for free? Would you do two and four, one and four? I, I That's my favorites. Two and four and one and four are my favorites. If you could get anything for free tonight, which numbers would you use? If you'll do that for me, it's really helpful to our consultants to see um, that in there. Just put the numbers. One is repair. Two is the miracle set. Um, three is the uh, preteen set. Four is microderm. I think if it was me, I would do one four, five, seven, eight, 10, 11. There we go. Two, 11, one, two, and eight, one, two, and eight. Okay. Two and 11, two and 11. Perfect. Charcoal mask. Good. Don't forget your microderm four. Yes. Look at you. I mean, who put all those numbers up there? Yes. There we go. Um, I think it just is nice to be able to see the numbers. Um, consultants, you are welcome to use this. Have your director reach out to me and I can post this also too, if you'd like to use this. I use this at my beauty parties just because it's easy to write the numbers down. Um, two and four. So all of those are really great. So this is our skincare. Um, I know that your consultant has special offers for you tonight and for this month. This is the end of our Mary Kay year. There's so many contests, so many things going on. So I was going to say support your consultant. If you want to take a picture of this before I take it down, that'd be great. Um, but these are the items tonight that we talked about. All right. So remember, if you're driving through Starbucks tomorrow, Think about that. Take care of your skin. That's the most important thing, okay, is to take care of your skin. Okay, so tonight, I forgot what we were doing. Let me find Kelly here. I got to remember this. All right, so tonight, I'm looking, we are giving away the following things. Uh, where did you go, Kelly? Is she off here? Kelly, can you come off your microphone? Um, so I know that we're going to put this in the chat section. Um, I'm looking for you. I saw it on here. We're giving away my very favorite lip color. I do know that. Um, and mascara. Okay, thank you. We're gonna give away five of these. Think of pink lipsticks. I have this on, it's my very favorite color. So we're gonna give away five free pink lipsticks. If you see your name in the chat section, directors, please make sure you send me an email. My admin takes it off. She patches out the pink lipstick to your uh, guest who is on here tonight. So let's first do the um, five pink, I think of pink lipsticks. If you can put those five people in the chat section, I'm gonna turn this 